First, I want to talk about the platform because the platform yeah, was fulfilling a lot of my wishes. At first, we have a rear wheel drive, what I really love. We have extremely low center of gravity. We have a long wheelbase and a very good package. A lot of room inside and we have big wheels. So the biggest wheels we ever had at Skoda and really short overhangs, wonderful proportions. This is all nice. But of course, the mindset has to be completely different at electric cars. But to have a convenient car with a good range in winter, we had to do a lot of stuff for that. So one of those things that you did actually create, wasn't it? It was a heat pump. Yes, yes, we have the option of a heat pump. This is a very important part of the strategy because the heat pump takes most of the electricity for very efficient heating of the car. But the heat pump is not the only issue we did. The efficient heating of a car is a lo lot about close to body heating. And this is why we have heated steering wheel. We offer a very sophisticated seat heating with a lot of areas heated. And we even offer as an option a seat heating in the back of the car. Well, sounds good to me. And another thing that sounds good to me is this car under 30 kilometers an hour. It kind of makes a <laughs> kind of noise. So yeah. whose decision was that? For the safety of pedestrians, this car is extremely silent. You are not hearing this car coming. And this is why we have this sound generator externally. And this sound generator has a special artificial sound that the pedestrians hear our car coming. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of development work for, for this sound. Of course, we could play ACDC, what makes no sense. And it's, it's like that, that we had this artificial sound that everybody can hear a car is coming. Absolutely. And I've been having a look around the car, you know, really taking in all the details. And one thing I noticed, Jens, was at the back, behind the rear wheel, there's yeah. a drum brake. Yeah. Why, yeah. Is, why yeah. is there yeah. no yeah. traditional disc brake there? So this was, of course, a very, very long discussion. Uh, as you know, the, how you brake the behavior is completely different in an electric car. You brake electrically, so you uh, recuperate the energy back into the battery that you have a long range. So this means that the discs are yeah, hardly not used at normal driving. And you have to clean them, wipe them, by sometimes putting yeah, the, the brake on, onto it. And so we said the simply clever feature of braking in the back is a drum brake. And so this drum brake was developed by Skoda. Perfect, I think that clears up um, something that I was wondering. You didn't have drum brakes on the back so people could do a handbrake turns, did you? It was all for <laughs> regen. What is your favorite part of this car, that one thing that excites you most, that you're most proud of? <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's a lot, but what I really love is how good this car is in daily usage. So I was uh, driving up to now several thousand kilometers with Enyaq, and it's, you have a lot of comfort. It's extremely silent. You have a lot of room for, for your stuff inside, for your family. You have a really cool drive. So for me, it's the complete package for everyday use, what I love the most. Skoda, simply clever.